Starting with a brand new Unity project, the first thing we need to do is create a canvas. Right click in the hierarchy, select UI, and then canvas. Double click the canvas to get an overview of the UI. Right click the canvas and select create empty to create an empty game object. Name it health bar. Right click the health bar and create a new UI, image, and call it background. Click the square to the right and select the bottom right square to make it stretch to its parent size. That makes it resize along with its parent. When we change size of the health bar, right click the health bar again in the hierarchy and create another UI image. Call this one fill and set the color to red and make it stretch the same way as we did with the background. Then select Fill in the hierarchy and press T to be able to resize it and make it a little smaller than its background to get a nice black border around the health bar. Then select the health bar in the hierarchy and resize it to your preferred size. With the health bar selected, press Add Component in the inspector and add a component called Slider to it. Drag and drop the Fill onto the Fill Rect field. Change max value to 100 and test changing the value on the slider. Finally, it behaves just like a health bar should. Now it's time to create some scripts. Create a new C-sharp script and call it Slidabar. The reason we call it Slidabar instead of health bar is because the same script can be used on other bars, like a mana bar or a stamina bar as well. Create a new field to get a reference to the slider component and a new public void method called setCurrentValue that takes an int value as parameter. Don't forget to add using UnityEngine.UI at the top of your script. Inside of the set current value method, type slider.value equals value. Then we create a start function that sets our slider reference to the attached slider component on our game object. That's it for the slider bar script. Let's move on to the next one. Create a new C sharp script called player. Inside of the player script, add a new serialized field of type slider bar and call it health bar. Then we add a new field of type int called current health to keep track of the player's health. In the start function, we set the current health to 100 and update the health bar using the set current value function. Since we need a way for our player to lose health, we will just make a game where he loses health when we click on him. So create a private void on mouse down and make it remove 10 from current health. And of course, update the health bar again with set current value and passing current health. Finally, we check if the health is less than or equals to zero to destroy the player. Back in the Unity editor, we move our health bar and make it align to the top by clicking the square to the right and alt click the top center square. Then to create our player, we right click the hierarchy and select 2D object sprites circle and name it player. Set the color to black in the sprite renderer and drag the player script onto the player in the inspector. Drag and drop the health bar from the hierarchy to the health bar field on the player script. Don't forget to first add the slider bar script onto the health bar game object. Add a Circle Collider 2D to the player object and press play to test everything. Now when we click the player, you can see it loses health and the health bar gets updated. That's it for this tutorial on how to make a health bar in Unity in 5 minutes.